We are swinging things around today on Turbo Total's Tech. Good afternoon, morning, and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, my name is Reese Will Peace from KFC or Wiki Triple XL. To my left is a really cool budget case that I've talked or spoken, there we go, that I've spoken about a number of times on the EvTech specials videos, which come out every Wednesday, just in case you're wondering. And I just looked at it so many times as that guy sent over a review sample because I've got to see if this is as good of a value proposition as I thought it thought it was. And bullet points of the presentation is pretty much yes. This little NX410 over to my left comes in black or white. It's a whole 899 rands on the Intex store. 949, the premium price for the gloss white edition. The layout is the default that you tend to see right now. And that's a very good thing. It's got full 360 mm radiator support at the front, plus 280 mm radiator support. It's got a 240, 280 millimeter space on top as well. It's got nice covers with magnetic mesh so that the dust buildup is uh, not on the extreme end. It's got a full mesh front panel with a glass side panel, normal back panel, and a PSU shroud, albeit this one has actually honeycomb in it, so you can see through the top and have a look at that juicy PSU. It's got enough space to house a proper mid-range gaming PC with some space to spare and quite nice channeling on the back of it as well. Holes exactly where I would want to have them. And then some nice little rings on the back of it as well for you to cable tie your cables to. I've purposefully not done any of that on this machine because I just wanted to show how easy it is to get a neat looking PC in this system without using a single cable tie. The included fan system is pretty nice it's full rgb as you can see controlled over here by the reset button or in this case led button it can be repurposed into a reset button as per normal but you're going to switch through the default profiles over here nothing to be able to connect it to your motherboard which is a little bit of a downturn and equally because of that the fans themselves only have one speed which is on look and feel of the case itself is pretty understated it's just pretty much a square box with mesh in it the internals are really where it shines a little bit more that and this absolutely awesome magnetically attached swinging door as you can see over here i will play with that until i break it so onwards with the review the only thing I could see that maybe not being good for is if there are children like myself uh, running around in the house that, that notice that this is just magnetically attached, that they could then go and interfere with it. But it does come off really, really easily, literally, just like that. And then literally, okay, putting it back is a little bit harder. You've got to get two hinge lineups over here. Excuse me while I aim. There we go. And it's right back on. I like that quick access though. If you're in and out of your machine often and uh, you're using it for tech or something like that, this is really cool. And while this look and feel is a little bit understated, I have to say I really like it to be honest with you. I love that it's front side mesh, that there's almost enough space for you to put another fan kit in the front there, not quite enough. But it would be enough for, for instance, with this GPU for you to do a full push pull setup. What's also nice is you can put another 240 more or 280 more up top. So this case even lends itself for maybe a custom loop or two. Now, as I've mentioned, this is more of a budget case. And because of that, the materials are a little bit more budget. Nothing feels like it's going to break. The PCI Express covers were a little bit old school. They tend, well, they are built to basically be twisted out of the slot, but they do give you extra coverage. So if you do take out too many, at least you can cover them back up. Nice little touch of that. Included kit with the case was pretty basic, couple of cable ties and the normal screws. No standoff adapter though, which is uh, really nice to have when you are building PCs uh, quite a lot. Obviously, doing it one time, just use a pair of pliers to make sure that that thing stays in the standoff hole so it doesn't come out with your motherboard when you take it out later. I absolutely love the way this thing looks with the blue fans on and the white with the blue, this like cool, a cold as ice kind of effect that it's got going on here. It's doing, it does a lot for me. And honestly, these fans are some of the quietest I've ever heard for included kits that are sitting at 100% and they push air extremely well, which is my caveat into the performance. So now a couple of things to note before we get into it. 
The open air test was done with about three to four degrees higher than we are at today. Today's a nine to 22 day, that was a 13 to 26. So you could say it was at least three to four degrees hotter, but the temperatures are not three to four degrees better, they're more like nine to 10. So even with that ambient increase in temperature, this system, for instance, would have no problem with that. And this is generally kind of the level I think you would be building into a case like this. I don't see too many people spending 40,000 Rand and then buying this case. Not that you couldn't though. This is a really cool thing about this case. It's actually the default layout is so good. Like you could use this for pretty much anything that will fit inside of it. And I know that sounds really weird as I say it, but it's more or less a fact of the environment that we're dealing with here not every case is going to be able to support like super high end components because for instance if you were to put a 3090 and not that any of the 3090s would fit in here but if you could put a 3090 in here then things would get very hot very quickly because a lot of them have passed through so it's going to heat up your ram and then if you don't have cooling on top to extract that is going to be a bit of a problem the default case layout or the default fan layout is set up as such that i, I can actually feel airflow coming through the top of the case over here because the two 140s pump in so much cold air it's actually almost laughable you'll see with the performance results temperatures were kept uh, pretty pretty damn well and uh, the cpu literally like fluctuated 0.1 of a megahertz again absolutely perfect at 4.6 it's 9600 kf under this cooler at 4.6 it's like it was a match made in heaven the machine ran exactly as i expected it to except even better but once again it is a little bit cooler right now so take it with a pinch of salt i do however think that this layout is absolutely fantastic if you were to even just include one extra fan over the top over here just to aid with some of that extraction i would say even in with that temperature increase this thing's still gonna be absolutely perfect all in all then Antec really has knocked it out of the park and i've been dying for them to make some really good like budget level cases and stuff because one of the first PC cases I ever got that was like a premium was actually the Antec 900, which had dual 140N and a big old 220 millimeter extract or 200 mil, and then another 120 at the back. Or it was three 120s in? I can't remember exactly. I just remember the thing was built like an absolute tank and you could fully remove the drive cages and it was way, way, way ahead of its time. Power supply also in the basement. So yeah, early, early days of Antec, I had a lot of fond memories of that. and you know, Antec P1s and P1000s and all of those big monolithic builds. This is a really, really good budget option. I actually got one of their other um, uh, mini RTX cases for uh, my old man actually for a Christmas present and it was absolutely fantastic. Bang for buck wise now, right now, Antec is super solid. And that's why I wanted to show you because not everybody's got 10,000 Rand to spend on a PC case. Anywho, if you have enjoyed this review, please hit us up with a like and subscribe and I will see you on the flip side.